so the, the idea throughout history has been, we'll just, the gold standard, right? We've all heard of the gold standard. Uh, the gold standard has never worked. The promise was, what if the paper, the paper money that we can print out of thin air, what if it's tied to gold? Then they sort of can't print it out of thin air. Every time this has been tried, the same thing has happened. Okay, so here's what it starts with. This is a $10 bill. If you zoom in on that $10 bill, it says, this certifies that there have been deposited in the treasury $10 in gold coin payable to the bearer on demand. Okay, that means you're supposed to be able to swap the paper for the gold anytime you want. Now, every time humans have ever done this in entire human history, they print too much of the money, and eventually they stop being willing to swap it for the gold. So, the United States did this. In fact, I have, it's in my car. I didn't take it in with me, but I have, um, I, I have a, a bill that says this certifies that there have been deposited in the treasury uh, ten dollars payable to the bearer on demand. So after this bill, they had a bill that just said ten dollars payable to the bearer, but it left it ambiguous in what? Yeah. Like, is this not a dollar bill? Like, what am I supposed to be able to get from this? The answer is nothing, but we don't really want to say that. But anyway, ultimately, in 1971, the government broke the promise, and they changed the words to Federal Reserve Note $10. And they took off all the words about how you could get it in gold coin anytime you wanted and all that sort of stuff. Or in the case of uh, $1 bills in silver. So the dollar system, the U.S. dollar system, runs on politics. And what about different governments? Is this a problem unique to America? Uh, it turns out not. None of these countries have a better dollar than the U.S. because they all print money out of thin air. And believe it or not, they're actually less responsible than the United States. So this is how these other currencies in the world have compared over the last 10 years to the U.S. dollar. Now, let's remember, the U.S. dollar is already down 95% in 90 years. In the last 10 years, these over here are down an additional Venezuela, 99% on top of how much the U.S. dollar is down. So 90, 85, 99%, even major currencies like the British pound is down 25% compared to the dollar, which is already down. So all of these currencies are worse. The Canadian dollar, the uh, Indian rupee, all of the euro, all of those are down an additional 20% just in the last 10 years as compared to the U.S. dollar, which is also down in purchasing power, you know, precipitously.